Hi and welcome to my fourth card in the series from my monthly hero, December 2016. So I'm going to do um, a white cardstock, black, and then the pink metallic cardstock that came with the kit, and then some watercolor cardstock that I've had in my stash. I'm going to use the spiced marmalade if I can find where to put it. And we're going to take one of the ink blending tools and just start adding ink to the background. And I like to do this in a circular motion off the edge and then move up to the center. I always like to have the edges darker than the actual card stock for a little border. And the next color we're going to use is Dusty Concord. And it's funny because it looks right side for me, but then it's upside down for you. So I do apologize. I have to remember to have it upside down for me so that it's right side for you. And we're adding this Dusty Concord in the center, trying to blend it a little bit so it's not such a hard edge. Excuse me. And then the last color is the Seedless Preserves. And this is what I am putting at the top of my card. And it looks like this color is probably the, in a medium color family than the Dusty Concord and it was really hard for me to tell which was which so next time maybe the Dusty Concord will be the darkest color but since we're already into this I'm not starting over and I don't mind I like it so far and we're just trying to blend it together so it looks seamless And then I'm going to go back and add the other colors again to try to make a seamless line. Or I don't want a line, I want a, a seamless background. <laughs> and I'm putting a little bit more of this on top of the other seedless preserves to darken it up a bit. And then I'm going to go back to the spiced marmalade. And then I'm getting some of my um, water and I'm going to spritz the top so that there's some interest added to the top of this cardstock. I'll take a, a paper towel and soak up the water. And then we're going to take the sunburst die and die cut the sunburst. And then this still stays in your card, so I'm just trying to pick up those pieces so that there's some dimension with this piece.
And then I'm going to go around the edges with the Dusty Concord. And then again, I'm taking the Cheers um, die and we're going to cut out the gold foil cardstock. And I went ahead and did that, and that's going to sit on top of the sunburst. And I'm just adding some of the glue to the back. I'm kind of dotting the glue sparingly because I don't want the glue to seep out. And there's some thin pieces. So I'm just trying to keep the glue to the fatter parts of the sentiment. And put that in the middle or the center on top. And then we're going to put a acrylic block on top so it stay secure. And I did have some of these pieces prepped before, so we're just going to fold the white cardstock, crease it with a bone folder, and then have a black layer which I decided that I might want the black piece to be a little bit bigger because I want to put another stamped image in the black on the bottom of this card. So I decided to cut another piece of cardstock out because once I layered the pink metallic cardstock, there wasn't enough space to emboss another sentiment. So I am cutting another piece of black cardstock that I'm going to do it five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So there'll be a sliver of white border around the black. And I'm just looking at the different sizes of the dies, making sure it all fits and that I like it. And I'm going to layer this pink layer higher on the black cardstock so it won't be symmetrical when it's on the card. There'll be a bigger bottom so I can put a sentiment. I'm putting it further on top and then if I come back into the frame there's going to be a wider bottom and then we're taking this my friend from this stamp set and we're going to emboss it with the gold embossing powder from this kit and I barely left enough room for the sentiment. And I do apologize for being out of the frame. I guess this is when a director would come in handy. So I'm just trying to get rid of some of that excess embossing 
powder. And if you can see, it barely fits into that space, but it fits actually perfect. Just enough room. dumping the excess back into the container so I don't get it all over the place and lining up that center piece and I thought about propping it up with foam tape but then it would show through those slotted rays and I decided to use the tape runner to glue it down eyeballing it in the center and pressing it down and then just poking up poking up is that a word just picking up some of these rays so that the background pink shows through the card and then we're going to glue it down to the white card base and I just want to thank you so much for joining me for card number four with my monthly hero December 2016 uh, I would love it if you would like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know how you like this card, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So as we finish up here, we are almost finished with card number four. And thank you guys so much for joining me. I will catch you in my next video.